If you're struggling to eat clean, this video is a must watch. First of all, it's very important that you change your habits right now or as soon as possible because these foods that you're ingesting are killing you. Not only will it shorten your lifespan, but it will contribute to a whole host of diseases that could have been prevented and even reversed had you done the right thing. So proper nutrition is the key. And before some of you guys say, oh, I like eating this way, it makes me happy. That's short-term gratification, addiction. It feels good now, but later down the road, you will suffer for this. And those around you who care will also suffer. So stop making excuses for yourself and take control of your health destiny. So with that said, my number one piece of advice is to become obsessed with this idea of living a healthy life. You need to pick up books, not just one, but many on nutrition and read them religiously. Instead of gossiping, instead of watching drama and entertainment, instead of just reading about nonsense, invest in your knowledge. Even if you're done with formal education or if you're already a student who's really busy, supplement on the side. You can never know too much, okay? And when it comes to nutrition, if you're eating bad foods all the time, there's clearly a lot of work to be done. So I strongly advise that each and every one of you pick up books constantly and learn about what these foods are doing to you. Read some studies, watch some seminars, watch some videos, make health, make nutrition your new obsession. It doesn't have to be forever, but at least temporarily, get the knowledge so that you're aware of what you're actually doing to your body. Now, if you know exactly what you're putting in, you know that this is what it's gonna cause, and you still indulge in it, well, that's your own decision, but I think a lot of you will be shocked if you found out what's really going on. If you learn the truth about your food, Many of you would discontinue the practice immediately, especially processed foods. Every single one of you should be eating a whole food diet. Whether it's plant-based or omnivorous, it should consist of primarily whole foods, minimally processed, okay? That should be the go-to for all of you. And I think that you're only gonna comprehend how crucial this is once you have the information. So make it a habit to read every single day and educate yourself. A lot of people think they know what healthy eating is, or they think that what they're doing is not really harmful in the long run. But once they look at that research, once they read those books and they find out how it's all interconnected, in addition to the diseases down the road, it's a powerful way in stopping completely. So educate, always. Secondly, you need to form this new habit. And that might take a month. It might take several months for some of you. But clean eating needs to become your default, a permanent lifestyle change. In other words, you will never go back to what you're currently doing. If it's a standard American diet, you will never do that ever again. You might have the occasional cheat meal, but that's about it. Occasional, once in a blue moon. But it will never be a part of your daily diet. And having it once a day is not moderation, okay? That's your addicted mind speaking. So you need to develop that habit. And the way to do this is by having some willpower, some freaking discipline, and just toughing it out, not eating garbage foods. And I'm not even going to say, forget about the cheat meals. Because whenever I see people going on diets, they're like, oh, I'm going to do a cheat meal once a week. And it just strengthens the neural pathways associated with bad food addiction and it teaches you that this is a reward that extra large pizza is a reward eating five hamburgers in one sitting is a reward eating all these processed foods should not be a reward you should view it as hey this stuff is killing me if anything you should look at these meals with disgust not like oh man this is so tasty you should want to look forward to going home and enjoying your goddamn food and the way you're going to do this is by resetting. You need to replace the habits of eating processed junk with good foods. That comes with experience, with time. And you have to really force yourself to eat clean for a little bit. And you might not like it at first. You might hate it. But I can guarantee you with time, it will change. So give yourself at least a month. They say it takes around 21 to 30 days to form a new habit. Well, get started, okay? And stay true to it. Don't give up. And that'll bring me on to my next point, which is all interconnected, of course. Which is the fact that you need to learn how to cook and make good recipes, which is not a complicated thing to do. You're gonna have your staple spices, you're gonna have your primary carb sources. For carbs, you might have oatmeal, brown rice, two sweet potatoes, those might be your four staples. For your protein sources, you might have a variety of different beans, black beans, kidney beans, lentils, chickpeas, something like that, or even uh, some hummus, a spread. You're gonna have your staples in your diet, and you need to find out which ones you like the most, while of course, making sure that they're micronutrient dense. So there's gonna be at least something that you enjoy and I recommend that you emphasize those within the diet itself, like find out what your staples are and spice accordingly. More specifically, I would tell you to look up some recipes, okay? And you can even make substitutions for things that you liked in the past. For example, french fries, you can make sweet potato fries in the oven, you know? 
Simple stuff, it doesn't have to be crazy. Or you might decide to make yourself a bean burger instead of going to a fast food joint and eating all the garbage there, most of which is not even real meat, okay? So simple stuff like that, make substitutions and, and look up some recipes. And on Instagram, there are so many available. Like look at the hashtags associated with clean eating, eating healthy eating, recipes. There are so many that it's unbelievable. And you'll find that you actually really enjoy these foods. Like I prefer this way of eating. When I'm walking downtown and I see people with a junk food in their hand, they're walking, they're just indulging in it. I don't see that as something that is enjoyable or palatable. I, I prefer my own food and you will find that to be the case as well. Once you develop that habit of eating clean and you find out which recipes, what tastes you like, what flavor profiles work best for you, you'll start to actually prefer it over the shit that you're eating before. So I strongly recommend that you learn how to cook. Get some cookbooks if you have to. I bought cookbooks. I'm nobody special. I watch a bunch of recipe videos online. I looked up some articles. Like I said, the information is available. You just got to make use of it. So don't, don't make excuses that, oh, I like the taste of, of this. And oh, I want to enjoy life because of the taste. You can get the same textures as before. You can get the same flavors just without all the garbage inside of it. Okay? Or if it's not exactly the same, it'll be a little bit different. But it'll suit you more as a healthy eater. Okay? So make this a part of your life. Legit. On a final note, I would encourage you all to do some research on the microbiome because many of you, when you start eating clean, you're going to notice some discomfort in the gut area and you're going to think that you're getting a bad reaction to the food or that it's not meant for you and all, all this nonsense. For example, when you start eating beans, you might experience some farting or a little bit of bloating, stuff like that. But that's because you're not a regular bean eater. The thing is, when you frequently consume beans, the bacteria in your gut will change and it'll be easier to digest and eventually you won't get any farts or anything like that. I never get bloated from eating beans. You might get that very temporarily, but the more frequently you eat them, the better, okay? And after about two weeks, all the symptoms should be gone, realistically speaking, okay? And if you are having trouble with this at the start, you can just have a small amount every single day. You don't have to overdo it on the beans, okay? But after that, you definitely want to introduce more of it. And the same thing for nuts, okay? It might take you a week to that, but after that, it's going to be good. Now, if you're allergic, that's another story. But despite that, these little minor things, okay, which will be corrected when you have a healthy gut, um, what you're experiencing right now is far worse. You're getting real inflammation, real damage to the artery walls, higher cholesterol, higher everything because the diet is not healthy. You, if, you, if you honestly think that farting for a week or two from eating beans is so bad, but eating pizza on a frequent basis, eating uh, processed junk, eating burgers, all this garbage, hot dogs, you think that's a good thing, then I don't know what to tell you. All I can say is that you need to give yourself a little bit of time Find out what recipes work for you and do some more research on the microbiome so that, you do, so that you stick in this long term. Please educate yourself before you make misinformed statements. Get that habit going. Start eating healthy. Start looking up some recipes and enjoy the clean eating lifestyle, man, because this is the only life you got. It's not worth being one of these big muscular guys with poor health. There's a lot of strength athletes who fall into that, the heavyweights in particular. They eat garbage foods on a daily basis. They're shortening their lifespans considerably and they take drugs at the same time. Why not live here for a good time and a long time? That's what it's all about. Quality and longevity. Not what you think is quality right now, but later down the road you're suffering big time because it feels good when you're eating those hot dogs. It feels good. 30 years from now, it won't feel so good. I can promise you that. So that said, hope you learned something. Wishing you all the best of health and I'll see you in the next video.